they just go in. They just practice so hard. And that's what forces them to get better. And you can see that competitive drive in them from Mexico, from like just all these strong players. And we're going to see it again with these two right here. We got Suarez versus Sharp, two of the Northeast finest, getting into game number one here on Smashville with Joker versus Yoshi. Yeah, I've, I definitely made the right call. Like, he's probably going to go Joker. Definitely one of the best characters, and actually, arguably the best character in the game, without a doubt. But also, it's having. Having really good tools in the neutral, obviously just force and poking his opponents, deal damage over time. And one of the best, obviously the best back air, dude. He's got so much movement. It's just crazy. But I know Suarez yep. is a fiend and he knows his matchup by the back of his head at this point, meaning Yoshi. Yeah, the main thing for Suarez is how deep, we, I mean, we're already seeing it. Suarez is playing the runaway game right now. You need to play so incredibly careful when Arsene is out because all of his hitboxes just beat out your boxing options. You have small stubby legs, you have a giant nose, but it doesn't mean anything when you get hit by Joker back here. So that is a really good oh option Oh my god. That is a combo you could get to a certain point, finds the down air, it's a hard thing, the DI as well. That's a really good start for Suarez. And, and see, I'm from the West Coast, Ajax. I know to you this is another Monday. This is another day at Zeno. This is another day at, like, you know, your East Coast tournament. But to me, like, seeing Suarez hit this man with down and having him die is just a, see, it's, see, it's I'm, crazy. See, I'm used to this stuff because of the fact that, like, like, I'm from Connecticut, right? But I always would go to New York, Long Island and stuff. Long Island is literally Yoshi's Island. They have Suarez. They have a Raptor. They have uh, a couple other ones. There's like three other Yoshis. <laughs> they have a tournament series called Escape from Yoshi's Island. <laughs> so seeing those things doesn't confuse me too much. But one of the things I do normally see a oh lot of God. is Sharp. And Sharp is um, currently getting pushed <laughs> very hard. He can't find this KO right now. Yeah, that double forward there put Sharp so off the stage. If Suarez had gotten that grab, oh, that would have been current for Sharp with that stock here. But nonetheless, Sharp gets a lucky break. I want to say lucky break, or just a good break in general, getting that back air, and then finally still holding the stage. 102 here. Suarez, all he has to do is just read the landing here, but good stuff on Sharp to mix up opportunities and get this big play on the stage, get the A-ha. Look at the way this man is just trying to move in here and tie up the deficits as soon as possible. One of the things you want to look at, like deep, deep in depth of how good Sharp has gotten over these, like this past year and change, is his advantage state control. When he gets a hold of you, he just takes so much advantage. Even losing the R set, once he finds that one good setup, he just pushes damage so far and it gets yeah. you so stressed out. That was really well played and a really good equalizer for, uh, for uh, Sharp there. Oh, gotta be careful on those rolls, Sharp. Definitely Yoshi's one of those characters, like, if you roll terribly, you will be punished. Speaking of uh, the Tri-State area, I just want to give a quick shout out to Leon in the chat. I see you lurking down there. You should be in these brackets as well. But right now, <laughs> we, got, we got Sharp. Uh, I like the fact that Sharp is playing super, like, very passive. He's waiting towards when he could get Arsene, that we could get another one out of this. He doesn't get it, though, because the Yoshi bomb is finally going to take it. All right, Sharp with this opportunity, down tilt, excellent back air, knowing how to level connect at that specific percent. Goes for up air. And honestly, good stuff on Suarez, though. Just trying to continuously understand, like, if I'm off the stage, I have to aim for center stage. And good nair, but also great opportunity to go for grab. Trying to sense out Sharp's panic ops, because like I said, nair will lead into tech chases, can kill. There's so much that Yoshi nair just does. You have to kind of give it a little bit of respect. Mm -hmm. And Speak Speaking of that, that respect is being given, because you see what Sharp's option is after he goes for these throws. He's going for guns. He's not actually willing to challenge that nair, because it's too fast, and it could let, let Suarez get back on stage. He's just getting the damage. It, it, like it's working really well only 23 percent we did talk about the oh no the jump is gonna get him away but suarez is one good combo away from even this up is what i would have said that's game one going to sharp yeah good stuff on sharp honestly like picking a good character to, like to, <laughs> I'm, I'm having all these thoughts here to, to put him down in paper when you look at Yoshi, he does have excellent aerials, excellent opportunities to get his opponents, right? Tech situations altogether, egg, double jump armor, you name it. Yoshi's toolkit's actually ridiculously good. But the one mm -hmm. thing that, you, that sets Yoshi apart from a lot of other characters is Yoshi's ability to ha I'm not Yoshi's ability, but I would say Yoshi commits to those aerials. And that's yep. the thing when Yoshi goes for it. And for Sharp to have a character like Joker, we talked about this Ajax, having good neutral really, really matters. And for yes. Sharp, having that neutral with Joker, being able to move in and out with that speed and having great aerials and knockback, that's just a complete package that like really makes Joker one of the best characters of the game. Yeah, and it's really hard to like get in and deal with that because you know we, we just said it, even though Swar like Yoshi has so many good aerials, so many good pressure tools, 
there's still short stubby hitboxes outside of that fair so you have to be willing to go in and box with the with the joker who has better overall toolkits than you so it makes it a lot harder because you can't preemptively call a lot of stuff when the joker's running away throwing out guns uh waiting timing getting prepared for that arsene because arsene back here is going to beat you out most of the time so i'm curious to see how suarez makes the adjustments here i think a big thing is punish game and and really just not letting sharp get that distance because he played at a safe enough distance throughout that whole set after that second stock that kind of made it impossible for suarez to win yeah suarez knows that when he gets in he has to make it count as much as possible and not let sharp escape out of his clutch there what a good read there Speaking and understanding up. yeah don't let him run away man what a great opportunity to go for grab but also for suarez the condition that he's put on to sharp to understand like okay i want to hold shield because i don't want to get followed up by yoshi especially when i come back off the platform yeah and then like it was, it was spoken into existence and he reciprocated right away. You see he's staying right up near him at a safe enough distance where he won't trade with Arsene, but he's getting these command grabs, getting this damage on. I like the fact that he held shield. People are really aggressive there. Almost catches the forward air, but unfortunately doesn't get the shield fast enough. I think he was going for a parry up smash there. Mm -hmm. All right, down tilt, no upper. Good patience there coming up from Sharp. We're looking to see how Suarez is going to land. I think about Yoshi, man. Yoshi doesn't get shield poke at all. What a great way to go for Rebel's card. And look at the meter. He's literally just built right back into Papa Arsene, looking just freshly to come out any second day now. Like so. Yeah, Ar Arsene just had to run to take the run to the bathroom real quick. The ball brawl is still going. The pack here is gonna get him position. Uh, this is looking very scary. He's probably gonna look for maybe a short hop. I, actually, I like that down too. I was gonna say maybe a short hop downer at the ledge because Suarez has got to jump at that position. But I right. like the fact he's like retreating the guns too, just so he can put out these safe distance hitboxes. Because if you trade there, you win. Oh, uh, you uh, except for that trade. Yeah, that's not a trade you'll win. Yoshi, Yoshi down B is like one of those trades and one of those things you definitely shouldn't challenge. Because of just how fast it is, but the just raw knockback it'll take, you'll lose a lot. You can even get shield broken from it. If Suarez sets up properly, you have to respect it. Sharp thought he had it, and honestly, I give him respect too with the way he played I on was, the stage. Yep. I was just about to say that too. Like, I don't even uh, like. I'm not even upset that he got hit by that necessarily, because uh, there wasn't really a situation that for Suarez giving up the fact that he was gonna down be there. He mostly landed with uh, just a full hop jump or an air dodge. So you get caught. It happens. But Suarez now, I like it. He's playing back, trying to chill, uh, because he knows that he has the like a high percent here. But you need to take full advantage when you do get in. You got to maximize this high percent because this stock is is borrowed time right now. You got to get something out of this. Yeah, huh, neutral that good stuff on Sharp to get away from the stage there to avoid a situation Ooh. there with Suarez. And Suarez is immediately ready for the grab. Suarez is going to come back. Great use of down B because you can avoid getting edge guarded or hit by your opponent. Like I said, you don't want to challenge that for good reasons here. And Suarez living on 177, man. This dinosaur. Oh, okay, I was going to say, never mind. I was going to say this dinosaur. Bones, they went, they quit quite a bit. I don't want to. I don't want to hear nothing about them being hollow. Like, <laughs> the fact that he, the fact that he kept that going for so long, really well played. Obviously, Arson wasn't there yet, but now look at this. Suarez is in a pretty good position by comparison to what he could have been because Arson's now gone, and he didn't fall for it the second time. Okay. The rebels oh, got so grab. smart last time. Ooh. Yeah, it was an excellent play. I'm gonna see a good counter play against Suarez. Down tilt. That's a punish. Good way for sharp too i like the way that he just goes for down tilt doesn't immediately mash any other button he will wait for his opponent's reaction to get the best possible opportunities spot dodge to avoid that aerial but suarez poking in through look at the setup from suarez and he's looking to come back because he sees that 80 on sharp yeah you see sharp like I, I like the fact that sharp is putting a lot of air to air based hitboxes out he's just trying to call the fact that suarez is probably going to be active out of shield try to look for some kind of jump and just punish him get in just force advantage but Suarez is holding well. He, like, even though this is potentially a, a few seconds away from being even, Suarez has done a pretty good job of maximizing his stocks. All right, on the recovery, on oh, no grab. Good paces are coming up from Sharp, and what a play from Suarez, because he knows Sharp had committed to a roll. I was going to say, Sharp has been rolling there, and Suarez is looking to catch that habit. Yeah, Suarez, like, he was actually just barely off of getting that up smash before. And then the second one, it's like, you gave up you, you gave up the fact that you're seeing red already. You you know what? I mean, if they're going to get, keep getting hit by that, sure, let it happen. That's a good call, though. He made it look like he was going to do something after that single hit forward air and force Suarez to jump in disadvantage and called him for it. It was yeah. looking exactly like the last game. Sharp was behind, but he was able to actually take the lead back, came second stock. 
a lot of conditioning, a lot of neutral being played. And honestly, it goes to show that like when you go for things like empty hops or a double jump, empty hop, or any kind of just whiff punish opportunity or just a tomahawk grab, those are really good because that forces your opponents to evaluate situations like, oh wait, was he going to go for grab? And that's conditioning on you. But Suarez with that big break there, 49% going off the stage for the down special to avoid any play from Sharp from the Angel platform. Yeah, Sharp, I mean, Suarez needs to get some percentages on the board quick and fast because the difference between these two is that uh, it may not seem like it to some people, but Yoshi actually struggles after a certain percent to get the KO. It's pretty much just looking for a raw back air or a jump call out with an up air, something along the lines of that, which makes it way more predictable. So if he stays this far behind, especially as Arsene continues to creep in, the whole matchup becomes way more stressful for Suarez by comparison to Sharp. Yeah, most definitely. So we'll see what I the one thing I am liking about Suarez though is he's looking for opportunities to either poke in with an aerial, but look at that way that Suarez is moving there. He'll either go back, pull back towards disadvantage, wait for Sharp to push in, and then he'll try to punish him with the hero. But unfortunately for Suarez, man, 124 center platform. Arsen, there's a lot of things you gotta fight against. And you see Suarez has been looking for, I mean, excuse me, Sharp has been looking for him to pull the trigger. He just waits for the jump. He waits for the air dodge because he knows he doesn't have too many other options out of disadvantage. That's a good opener, though. He doesn't go for the jump. He actually goes towards the ledge, and he is so lucky that he didn't get hit by that egg leg because that can confirm to a forward air at certain windows. Oh, and you and get the, the cross-up down smash. smash. Is he going to die? He actually died. That was, it was very, very <laughs> straight towards the left. I don't know if that was the eye assistant. But, uh, I feel like that I feel was, like that was two, a little one. bit, yeah. <laughs> I think that was a little DI assistant. Oh man, Ajax, I want. I want to. I want to talk about for sure. The one thing that I'm liking from Suarez too is he calls out those roll habits because like we've been mm -hmm. seeing Sharp just roll, 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 and Suarez is looking to punish those. But at that very last situation, man, like the way Sharp had just set himself up at the ledge to edge guard Suarez and give him that situation where down smash was a great call. These two are just going back and forth, and it's just Sharp being that one extra step above Suarez. Yeah, like it's just it, it really is the thing with the, the the hardest part about this matchup is that I help it. Uh, once once you Yo, get to this, <laughs> once you get to this certain point, right? It's so it's so annoying because you really can't overcommit. I do agree with the fact I saw somebody say in the chat too that he's kind of playing a bit a bit too safe when Joker doesn't have Arsene. But I right, think that's right. also a testament to how good joker that is sharp has been like well not even just uh joker so, sharp sharp has been mm -hmm. playing so well on defense and not over committing to too much that he hasn't really given him that opening yet which makes it difficult because what does joker need to fear right like yeah outside of out of shield activity you got you got guns <laughs> you can yeah. just shoot him wait for him to approach and then after he does then you do uh, you deal with him and that's the thing for Suarez, like he can play neutral as much as possible but there's only so much yoshi can do in that interaction that it limits the character's true potential the character has a potential gap eventually that will mm -hmm. overcome it and that's what makes joker just so much better um pretty much uh i want to say ninja uh, p1 ninja asks you why jokers don't win wife that's why jokers don't win wife hold on what sorry I, I read that wrong i thought he said like why don't jokers play all wild fight tournaments but i'm like that's because the character requires high execution you know yes, he, I was he, Go on, go on. That's the majority of it, actually. The high execution is an issue. Uh, people get better kill options off of you by comparison. You have to be more reaction based. Uh, so it's it's not as easy because you're like Sharp has been born and bred in Wi-Fi. He plays. He's also really good offline too. But he's been playing off Wi-Fi for a long time, so he understands anticipation versus reaction. That's why he right. makes his Joker work. But when you're dropping combos like drag down up air into into a KO option and you miss it for the third time in a set, you're gonna get pretty pissed off. Right, and that's the thing about Sharp too. He hasn't been going for those crazy like semi-infinite options that you would see from Joker when he gets on you on a platform or any of those crazy high execution setups. Sharp just plays a very clean edge Joker to where he just goes for things for our, where they're confirmed and keeps it that way because he knows on Wi-Fi those executions are really hard to pull off. Yeah, and now Suarez has to be scared because that was like the first Tetra card we've actually seen go off. Every that other one was always Rebels Guard. So now he has to be afraid. Oh, I might swing into one of these counters and die. Right. Oh, good on Sharp. Definitely didn't panic oh, there on the getup. Like the mix-up. Yeah, good mix-up too. I mean, good for Sharp to go for a getup attack just because he saw Suarez move into the center platform. He missed the tech, and if Suarez would have went for an aerial, he would have hit Suarez out of it. So far, Sharp I just got to point control. out real quick too. I've said it a few times around this set. The range on Suarez is so important. Like, it, he ended up losing that stock to the back air. 
But if Suarez had a slightly larger Nair, he would have forced Joker off stage and he wouldn't have taken all that damage because he called the landing option that he had before. That's how annoying this matchup is because he's just so limber and so mobile. It's so hard for Yoshi to actually combat him. Yeah, and even the way that we see Suarez play neutral, like right there, that was an excellent opportunity to go for Nair just to see that Sharp was in disadvantage. He was at the ledge, right? If Sharp is going to go for an option, he might go for an aerial or he might go for just a quick run and Nair could call that out. Ooh. Tough thing though, is that Sharp could easily get away, but there's Suarez finally with the stock, man. He needs that here. 33%, this is a grab from Sharp. Up to the upper, like I said, he's not going to go for anything high executional. He wants to keep things more guaranteed. Yeah, and I still have faith that Suarez can make the adjustments because we've seen Suarez has been just incredible all night long, but it's just completely unpunished game at this point. It's not even so much about like finding those opens anymore and maximizing it like right now. You have to get them and you have to make sure that they always matter because even if you lose neutral two out of five times, uh, I mean, if you only get two out of five times wins, you better convert heavily off of those two wins because prior to this, he hasn't really gotten that and Shark's been able to run away with it a lot. Right, that was Suarez. a good bait, but he was out yeah. of position. <laughs> Just a little bit off to you, Suarez here. 107 to 105. Suarez with a high jump and immediately Sharp able to beat that out. Down smash to call out the mm. directional air dodge. Man, he had the right play, but he just had to go a little bit closer to the stage to get that full invincibility frames all the way to the grab of the ledge. Yeah, and that was just a really good, like, make him waste his resources. Uh, Sharp knew at that position, it's like, all right, well, you've already, you threw out your egg lay. You're kind of high right now. You're probably going to air dodge because you think I'm going to swing at you. I've swung at you every other time. That was just good defensive play. Sharp looking very much primed to get that matchup against 8-Bit Man, who's currently sitting in the winner's side of Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty comfortable position for him normally here on MSN. But let's see, let's see if Suarez can make the adjustments right now, though. Not gonna lie, not like, not feeling too good about it. I usually like to cheer, <laughs> let's go, John, or a lot of things, but this is looking pretty good for the boy Sharp. I, I really like the way Sharp's playing oh, right now. That's okay. That, but the thing is, here's the mm -hmm. thing. I. Maybe I maybe I was intent. You know how I said earlier that the commentators control the timeline, right? Well, sometimes you, you we might be right. You might be right. We, we we speak the opposite in the timeline. Also, it's called commentators cursing. Therefore, we all of a sudden have a last stock situation, and Suarez is finding a lot of openings. And there's a potential chance that he can actually get a game on the board. Yeah, well, that last stock situation has turned into an RSN situation back there, back on the cross up. Sharp with the stage control, just narrowly letting go, down throw, but looking for the reaction, and that's going to be the call. What a play from Sharp because we've been seeing him do that every time. He'll go for down throw, up air, down throw, up e. He'll change it up at that one opportunity where it mattered the most. Sharp just said, you know what, I'm going to go for down throw, wait for your reaction here. And what is it going to be? That air dodge? Cool, I can punish that, and that's going to be all she wrote.